the growth of every Christian is depend on how they approach the word of the Lord. And today you have opportunity to listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. Sit back and relax yourself and prayerfully listen to the word of the Lord. I believe you are going to be blessed. Been fasting, he will say, Turn this stone into bread. He will come and fashion the weapon against you based on your need, and sometimes you're lost. Say amen. amen. So we need to pray, but we need to submit our prayer to the word of God. There are many people today, their conviction has been destroyed because of wrong things they had in the place of prayer. They will tell you, I prayed and God told me that in the place of prayer, I saw myself collecting your car. Give me my thing. And they are sincere because that's what they were manipulated to hear. But once you take that towards your will, you will know that the only person who acts like that is Satan. Jesus is never called a thief. It is the thief that comes to steal, to kill and to destroy. God will never give you the ministry of stealing killing and destruction are we together yes father i like the job that this man is doing and even though i do not have it can you for god's sake even though this is person is a church member or is my tribes person can you remove the person out of this job and give me that may look like a, a, a it's a sincere prayer but it's a foolish one and god is merciful because before god rates you he will look at your level of knowledge perhaps you have been wrongly mentored to imagine that anything you want kick whatever is standing in front of it there are rules to engage i told you that when you say let god arise and all his enemies the people to be scattered are his enemies not your enemies hallelujah his enemy is not the person you don't like that's not god's enemy his enemy is anybody who perpetually becomes an interruption to the manifestation of his will and that can include you even if you are jonah you can be a genuine serious man of god and yet become god's enemy so before you pray that prayer the rule of engagement is you must be sure he says sanctify yourself for after three days god will reveal himself because when he comes, his glory does not care what is there. The same glory that lifts and births is the glory that kills. Most believers have brought casualty upon themselves. They have empowered demon spirits to prevail over them by authorizing things without understanding in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. It is written, must be your code, must be your rule of engagement while you pray. Are we together now? Yes. The second force, I touch it quickly, and wherever I stop, we'll continue next week. Is God speaking to anyone? The second force that controls the manifestation of greater works in the kingdom is called the force of wisdom. Please write it down. The force of wisdom. Mark 6, 2. Mark 6, 2. 2 Mark 6 2 Esther the Lord is visiting your family I'm hearing the name Esther in the name of Jesus the reproach over your life and your family I'm speaking to you by the spirit of prophecy my God is rolling it away now yeah. Esther in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me a woman you are from emo state and the Lord is saying that trap of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that that trap of darkness there is a trap the devil is setting for you in the days that are coming but by the authority of scripture we declare it broken right now you escape from it like the bird from the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus Christ just allow me to do my thing wherever our time is we we'll share the grace but my assignment is to make sure that you receive the fullness of the hand and the grace of god hallelujah i'm seeing someone i'm seeing a drawing board you are an architect you are an architect the lord is saying your season has come 
I don't know who that person is. I hope you know that prophetic decrees are not empty. By now you should know. I'm praying over that architect. I don't know who you are. But in the name of Jesus, you will come and stand here to testify. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of grace. Whatever has taunted you that the door has refused to open is still our year of open doors. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus who died and rose again. Let that closed door be open over your life. Hallelujah. Write it down. There is somebody I saw. I'm, I don't know if it's the right time to say this because we're discussing serious issues. But I will say it because I've seen it and God has allowed me to say it. I saw the amount 4 million naira. And I saw that the Lord is bringing to someone and bringing it to somebody. 4 million. Exactly that amount. Hallelujah. Now you see why I said we're, when we're discussing issues like this. I don't want to take once you talk money you bring people out of a certain frequency but receive it while you are still focused in the name of Jesus Christ you will think I'm joking until you hear somebody come to testify in the name of Jesus you have been failing in business failing in business you have done the best you know to do failing in business it's not just an attack there is something only God can show you. And the Lord is saying, I shall release grace on you. I'm praying for you. Where others have not seen, there is something God can clean your eyes to see. I'm praying for you. In the name of he who died and rose again, this week, may your eyes see it. This week, may your eyes see it. Listen. It says, and I will give you the treasures of darkness. The, the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. That other people can be passing and they will not see anything. But like Hagar, in a desert you will still see an oasis that no one else is seeing. I'm saying it again, may your eyes see it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Perhaps it's because we took our time to just talk about this. The Lord is showing me a woman, you have three children. As you are sitting now, your very prayer point is the school fees of the children. You don't know where that school fees is going to come from. Between now and Saturday, write it and mark my word. The Lord himself, just one person is going to be raised by God. It will be like a coincidence. And the person is going to ask the state of your children and grant you the money not just to pay their school fees but also to take care of the needs of the family i call upon god who is ebenezer to visit this woman and visit this family in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you know where this grace came from i used to see our father in the lord baba deboe when he's preaching he will stop and say thank you jesus and said there is someone here and i said there has to be a point where men can access this grace in the name of jesus i say it again by the power that raised christ from the dead that everyone here who is in i'm seeing the issue of rent house rent this is what god is showing me in the name of jesus there is grace for it just allow me release it i'm decreeing now please help them by the power that raised christ from the dead by all scriptural means between now and the weekend may my god raise help for you may my god raise help for you somebody will call you and I'm not speaking empty words, I fear God. Somebody will call you between today and Thursday and he will say, come. And when you come, you will see the keys of a car given to you. This is not for everybody. This is for an exact specific person. I know you are saying amen because you need it and God will honor you. But I'm speaking to an exact person as it is being revealed to me by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm hearing a prophetic word for someone. Apply again. This is what I don't know who that person is. Please help them. Apply again. 
there is a grace that will go with you now apply again i'm saying it to you by the spirit of the living god apply again you did it in the strength of the flesh but my god is saying i should speak to you apply again there is a grace that is going with you the way god does these things is a sign and a wonder amazing hallelujah two weeks ago your father went to be with the lord who is that person about two weeks ago your father transited went to be with the lord i want to pray for you okay no i know i know yours but i want to pray because the lord is saying there is a covenant that he had with your father that he wants to put upon you there is a grace there was an understanding that god had with your father and even though he may have gone there is something i'm talking about a father that feared god to, what, when did your father go to be with the lord last two last monday sir huh? uh, two weeks ago. two weeks ago yes sir what was he doing sorry to ask a pastor sir he was a pastor yes sir. i want to pray for you please start my friend Look at me, my friend. You believe in God? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where are you from? From Ogun State. Huh? From Ogun State. Ogun State. Yes, sir. Father, the covenant you had with his father, in the name of Jesus that you seek to make available in his life, I'm praying for you, my friend. You may look ordinary, but there are things that your father had as an agreement with God. Don't ask the question how it came. I release that grace. This is an instruction that God is giving. And I declare, I speak over your life. You will find yourself walking in the possibilities of that man. And what he could not do, the Lord empowers you to begin to do it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Get ready to sing that song. Where's the guy who led that song? That my... Get ready to sing what you sang. That the special song again. Please, I want him to be the one to sing it find a comfortable key for him and all the people who backed up i do these things by the spirit you see an apostolic ministry can be very strange sometimes no matter how organized you are when god decides to flow it's important to walk with him i'm seeing a woman by my right near where visitors sit there is the hand of god coming and the lord is saying it is your season i don't know who that person is where the international guest sits just around my right in the name of jesus i'm praying for you i don't know who you are but the Lord is saying, I should tell you that your season has come. He's bringing you into a prophetic season of your life. And in the name of Jesus, this grace will start speaking for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen, we are organized people. But there are times when the water is stirred. You must discern what God is doing. In five minutes, you can receive something. Are we together? five minutes i'm seeing transcorp who works there or who is connected anything connected to trans transcorp now i'm sure that is the um that that hotel also transcorp i just saw the name and the logo who is that person what are you doing there first let me what what do you do there huh Flourish. i didn't get it, my dear flourish florist I'm not sure. Flowers. Oh, you okay. do flowers? Yeah. You too? Chef. Oh, you're a chef there? Yes. Hmm. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. The person you will meet may be a Cyrus, but don't be afraid. God will use him to lift you. This person I'm seeing is not a Christian, yet he has a compassionate heart. Not everybody's a devil. Please, if you are not there, if you are not working in Transcorp or have anything, you walk there? You are sure? Yes, sir. So that we don't tell lies. This is the house of God. There must be discipline in the house of God. Hallelujah. The lady in the middle, you are the one who is the chef. I stretch my hands over you. Find favor now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place a grace upon you as I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, may that grace connect that you to that man as a destiny helper. God will use that man and change your life in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus. What do you do, my dear? 
Waitress. You are a waitress there. I want to pray for you. Hmm. I, God, I fear you all. It's God. There are things that God does and he causes men to fear him. My dear, I'm laying hands on you, but there's somebody at the back who is shouting and I'm wondering why that is happening. I'm laying my hands on you. A grace is coming upon you. I'm stretching my hands towards you. You are going to experience what people have been calling here called disgrace, called favor. I stretch my hands upon you, my dear, in the name of Jesus, the Christ of the living God. Receive that grace, the waitress, in the name of Jesus Christ. And for all of you who are here, the lady, the florist, and then the other one, I saw the, lo the name and the logo of Transcorp, and I'm just responding as God. You see that every service is a miracle service. God just knows that your heart is open, and then you are ready to receive it. In the name of Jesus, for the remaining two, I stretch my hands towards you. And I'm praying by the power of the Holy Spirit because God has singled you out by His Spirit. May He honor you. Amen. That which you desire as consistent with His will, I declare that He will program men and cause them to visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katsina State Government. Somebody is receiving a favor with that government. Katsina State Government. I don't know who that person is. But I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. You may not even be have any connection now as at when I'm speaking. Katsina State Government. Katsina is a state in the northern part of Nigeria. I decree and declare by the Spirit of the living God. May that connection happen for you now. May that connection happen for you now. You saw me in your dream and I handed you a, a, like a paper, something that looked like an employment letter. The Lord is saying I should speak over that person. You don't have to come out. I can presume that many people may have seen this. When you see me in your dream, it's not really me. You understand? When you see me, it's just God using the face of a man of God you honor. Or who has the dimension to supply the grace that you desire. That's just what it means. Are we together? So it's not some idol worship or whatever it is. But I handed over something to you that looked like a paper. It's something pertaining to your employment. You've been trusting God for a job. I decree in Jesus' name. This is the week when my God will sort you out finally. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you've started having pain. Severe pain around your left this is my left i'm feeling that same pain the left side of your limbs very very severe pain when you wake up in the morning sometimes you have to lift your left leg very slowly because of the pain that you're having in jesus name i'm praying for you right now every demonic thing that has been fired to your body as it came let it return back to the devil as it came let it return back to the devil Hallelujah. Jemima. Is it Jemima? Jemima. Jemima also. I hope I'm not wasting your time. My apologies, eh? Please, just, just let me do this. Jemima. Who is that? Allow her, come. Don't shout, eh? just come and believe. Re release your faith. Don't, I know you are excited. It's a wonderful thing. When God locates you, don't, don't laugh at them. People have serious problems. The house of God is not a cinema center. God is solving serious problems in people's lives. Some of them, they are death and life problems. Hallelujah. Jemima. God told you I will call you. Who did God tell? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree that this, 
I'm seeing the person surrounded by what looks like fire and you are never allowed to cross it. You can just move around but not walk out of it. And the Lord is saying I should speak that that person goes forward. Jemima, in the name of Jesus, whatever has stood as a blockade, I release you prophetically. Let grace come on you. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. Go forward now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Go forward now. There are two preachers here. Today and Wednesday will be two prophetic days in your life. There is a divine visitation that God is bringing. There is an anointing two preachers. Not just our leaders here. I know that people will receive. But there are two preachers. You came here with hunger. God instructed you to come. There is something he told you you will receive. I decree and declare wherever those people are there might be many but there are two preachers you don't have to come out I stretch my hands let the power of God rest upon you wherever you are and birth supernatural prophetic encounters today and Wednesday in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you Jemimas the Lord visit you in Jesus name please don't be tired of me let me speak over someone there is someone here you walk in i'm seeing i'm seeing a uniformed place either maybe custom civil defense or immigration i know i'm seeing their kind of uniform um from my vision whether custom civil defense immigration in the name of jesus i want to pray for you because i'm seeing that there is a posting about to be done and God is saying, I should speak over you, that favor be shown to you. Wherever you are, you don't have to come out. In the name of Jesus, where you? Where do you walk? Huh? I'm seeing that brown cap on your head. Where do you walk? Immigration. Uh, just carry the lady gently. If she's under the anointing, you just keep them. My friend, I use you as a point of contact to every other person because I'm seeing for someone I will pray for you but the person I'm seeing there is a posting that is coming and you have been praying God will do something through that posting that will surprise you this is something that humanly speaking it can't be you but God is saying I should declare he wants to show you what the power of God can do in the life of man he says oh that man will praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus where do you walk my dear the lady standing there huh road safety Sir. no problem you don't have to come out the three of them that are here you just come and stand I will use three of you as a point of contact to the rest my goodness I've not even touched the force of wisdom father in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Grant favor. I use these ones as a point of contact to all those who are paramilitary, all those who are diplomatic people and professionals. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let grace rest upon you. That as this posting comes, may my God sort you out in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You make clothes. The hand of God is coming upon you now. You don't have to come out. The hand of God is coming upon you. The grace to dress kings is coming upon you. The Lord is saying, I've hearkened unto your prayer. I'm releasing grace upon you. You make clothes. This is what I'm seeing. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus, I release that grace upon you. Within the auditorium, the overflow right to Zaria and our global family. In the name of Jesus, let new opportunities be open to you by the Spirit of God. Be open to you by the Spirit of God. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. 
and I will forever sing your praise. Lord, I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. I want to appreciate you as you have watched this message and listened to it. And I want you to pray from your heart. And I want you to believe God for the miracle that is going to manifest in you. And I want you to also share this message. And also, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel that the Lord will richly bless you. Don't forget that we are preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. If our Christianity only be on this earth, it will do us no good. That is why we are preparing and trying to use this medium to reach out to as many. So if you have not given your life to Christ, try to do so and live a faithful life and a winning life to the glory of God. May God keep you. May God bless you. As you have listened to his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. God bless you.